Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 gallery video. We're doing one of these again. If you want to participate in these, share your builds on the Sims 4 gallery with hashtag build for Samaj and I'll go through them. We kind of, we're kind of doing this every couple of weeks at the moment and I think I want to start getting some themes in. So let's say the next one I'm going to do, we're going to do all community lots. So we'll keep it pretty broad to start off with as a theme, but uh, the next one we do, we'll, we'll just look at community lots. That could be a gym, a restaurant, a bar, any of that kind of stuff, a park. Um, we'll do that exclusively next time. So get building, you got a couple of weeks and we can see some cool stuff. So the first one we're gonna look at is the English Beach Hut uh, Resort by Chrissy C83. So here we are, it is place where well, it was built on this lot in Oasis Springs, which I guess makes sense because it is a resort. So I guess you're supposed to sort of come along and visit it rather than living in it. Although actually, what type of lot is this? It is a, oh, it is just a park. So yeah, you come along and visit it, which is cool. You could actually, there is that hotel mod. I wonder if that still works. I wonder if you could use that with this, but can I just say, look, hang on, if we get the right angle here, it's gonna look awesome. Look at this, how cool does that look? This is super detailed. You guys literally, and look at all the rug, they, they use all these different rugs scaled down so they all sort of fit in the right, like the right size and spacing. I got this whole like little resort set up here. This is amazing. Every time you guys have like, you, you make these amazing things. And then I'm like, man, I'm going to have to take that idea and pretend it was mine and hope no one not done. I'm, I'm kidding. But there's some really like, really cool ideas that you guys have. Uh, so obviously we're using a fountain around here. We've got a bunch of these rugs as towels. We've got a bunch of coolers as well. Uh, oh, there's a little camping area here. Can you, how do these work? I don't think I've ever put this many chairs around a campfire. Can they even get to those or do you need like some not in the way? You can actually put more. There's so many slots. Anyway, I'll put that back. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to touch it. Uh, okay. So this is based off of uh, the sort of beach huts you see. Uh, I think they said on the south coast of England. I mean, you see them a lot of places. There's beach huts like these in like Melbourne as well. I don't know if there's any in Sydney beaches, though. I don't frequent them too often. So I don't know. But that's where this was inspired by. Uh, so these are all different colors. They've even used some... Uh, interesting and wacky wallpapers here and there, which is cool. Let's have a look inside some of them. Let's not spoil it. I want to look in all of them, not right away anyway. So we'll go in one by one and have a look and see what changes and see how varied they are. So we've got some uh, ceiling lights there, a little kitchen. So yeah, just like a little, oh, so it's like, a, yeah, like a little cabin. So you can come in here, group of four, stay in here. Oh, there must be communal bathrooms. Gross. That's what I always hated about <laughs> camps. Actually, you know, the thing I hated more about camps, not just a shared bathroom, is when they didn't have a shared bathroom. And it was just like uh, a, a thing called, I don't know if you guys have it, they're called long drops. Um, yeah, the name is kind of self-descriptive. Let's have a look if this is, like, if they vary. Oh, yeah, it is. Look, it's different. Okay. And a little TV on the wall. Oh, this is a double bed one. Nice. This is cool. Okay, let's, let's get through them all. I can't imagine they're, like, obviously they're very limited in space. So the kitchen's probably going to be pretty similar. And then, yeah, so that's another four better. And then what we got in this one? Uh, another four better. But, yeah, all the stylings and colors and fixtures and that are, like, different in each of them, which is really, really cool. Uh, got a nice green one. These definitely could use ceilings, though, because they technically don't have any. But, you know, to be fair, when you're in live mode, you don't see them anyway. It's only when we go into this mode, we see there's no ceiling. We'll have a look around outside in a minute as well. Whoa! <laughs> this, this one is cool! Okay, this is my favorite so far. This one is sweet. Oh, my God, that's low-hanging. Be careful, guys. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine just like waking up and going, dunk! <laughs> Ow. Uh, this one is awesome though. This is my favorite so far. This is really cool. Alright, let's go outside. Next one. We're going here. Whoa, this one is like... This is like every build I make ever because I use so much color in all my builds. All of the time. This is like something I would build. I don't know if you could t detect the heavy levels of sarcasm or not, but uh, they were there. They were there. Very cool. Next one. Uh, nice. Nice blues and yellows. These are awesome, man. I wonder what we get. Surely there's got to be something some of you guys can come up with to like do with it. How many, do you reckon, you could probably do, use a sims.spawn cheat and try to get them to all live here. <gasps> That's a challenge right there, isn't it? <laughs> That's a challenge. Uh, there's this one in here. These are great. These are so good. I'm glad that we decided to make sure to like, look in all of them because there are some hidden gems. And I think for sure the coolest so far, well, is this one here? Not so far. Definitely is this one here. That's my favorite. My favorite. Okay, so we've got this front area. We've already seen that. It's like the sort of beach area. Then over here, we've got the little kids' playground with the, the pirate ship, toddler pools, 
uh, monkey bars, swings, we've got a pond for fishing in the back. you basically got everything going on here. We've got the whole bathroom area here. Like, this is cool. I really like that. That's a nice little... It's, it's just so detailed. And they got like a food court area here too, which is really nice. Oh, yeah, I didn't... I was like, this is also raised up, yeah. This is, you know, this is a good one to start off on. This is getting me hyped to see what else you guys have... Oh, that's a rock. <laughs> getting me hyped to see what else you guys have made. So next on the list is Heidi's Handmade. So this is actually a retail store by Kim Sim YT. This gorgeous house shop combo is just waiting for your Sim to display and sell their goods. Right in the middle of bustling Brindleton Bay, you're sure to have success selling your wares. So here we go. We got this essentially like little, um, little sort of shop front, kind of like these guys over here, probably inspired by the surrounding buildings and all that. A uh, nice little retail store, which is something a little bit different uh, from the norm, which is always nice to see. Like this, again, it's just like you guys have got these like real knack for detailing stuff. I feel like my stuff is just bland. Why do you guys watch me build? Just go to the gallery and like download some other builds. These are way better. All right, let's go for a little explore. Let's have a look around outside first. So we've got nice tables just for the surrounding area. So we've got, because there's obviously food stalls in the, the little neighborhood. So you could just get some food and sit down there. Some bins around the back. Couple of windows, there's a door, like a rear exit door, some windows up the top, got the side gate area. Oh, it's like a little craft and workshop area, a little gardening space. Uh, do some flower arranging, woodworking, very nice. All right, let's go inside. Let's see what's in Heidi's handmaids. So I, I'm gonna guess that that goes up to like the, the, probably the residential upstairs. I assume there's residential upstairs. So let's see. So we just got uh, essentially like a blank canvas to work with, but you still got a bunch of shelves and tables that you can populate. So that is really, really nice. So you can do some like baked goods or like cooked food or whatever there, and then just like some tables. And then what we got in here? We've got, ooh. Okay, so that goes outside and then through here. Oh, it's like, oh, that's cool. The back office. <laughs> I don't know, I, I find this, I, I find so much enjoyment out of this. It's so cool. And then the other side, what was that? Maybe a bathroom? Yeah, and a little little bathroom in here, which is completely fitted out for you. So yeah, you've basically got a nice blank canvas to, to work with for the store. Nice little shop area. And then I guess we go oops, upstairs. Let's see what we got up here. Oh, wow. Fancy. Double wide stairs. I almost never do that. And then through the door, and we come into what appears to be a furnished apartment. I love this. I love this little side table here. And they got the dog bowl and all that. All right, let's go this way because it's the main living space by the looks of it. Uh, so we've got the kitchen and a dining area here in the front and off to the right hand side a small little living room I love this. It's so like, I don't know. It's just so tiny and the lighting with the, the skylight I love it. And then let's go around the back So this is like prime for like if you want to like download this and then like renovate it as well Like you could do some really cool like update renovations too. Oh, look at this room Very nice. So you have your kids in here and then we've got the double bedroom in here, very nice, nice views, nice windows, nice and bright. And then through here must be the bathroom. Cool. So let's have a look overall so we can get a, a general feel and vibe for the place. So shop area there, back office, little bathroom. I really like that. I really like that. That's super nice. And then upstairs, we've got the apartment, which is surprisingly a two bedroom apartment. Did not, I did not expect that. Uh, so that's cool. Yeah, like this is like begging for like this front area is begging for like a renovation to sort of turn it into one one space But I kind of like it being the two separate rooms like I don't know that feels like really Realistic especially for a build of like this period too. So there you go. That's this one. This one is very nice I got the sign at the top as well. There's a little skylights which are actually doing wonders. It's providing some nice lighting Heidi's handmaids do recommend Okay, oh, there's like a little bay window there Oh, yeah, that that window works so well from the inside as well. Well done. Well done. Very nice Modern Moroccan 7. Uh, so this is by Murray CHGA, I don't know how to say that but it's by Murray. So uh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Murray CHGA Like they even capitalized it that way. Probably not how you say it though. Thought I'd share my creation with one of my favorite YouTubers hashtag James Center YT with hashtag the sim supply, hashtag build for Samaj. So I always try to make sure I put these lots in the, the worlds that they came from or where you originally shared them from. But what would really help me is if you guys just mention what world you'd build it in, you built it in and like what neighborhood as well. It doesn't have to be that specific. I can usually figure out from the screenshots, like this one was actually built on this lot, but it's, it's nice as well to show it off in the environment it's designed for. And this one is no exception. Like, look at this thing. This thing is stunning.
thing. I love it. You got this beautiful big pool out the front, which I guess is probably more like not really for swimming. It almost just looks like a nice decorative, like little uh, sort of water feature. And then the, almost a koi pond area there. Unless maybe this is a, a swimming pool. Oh, I got big photos there of, oh, that's great. This is beautiful. This really, really is. I love this wall as well. This wall coming out here. Uh, and actually, the, just the, the all of the, the flooring and the tiles, this is so nice. You know what? I didn't think that someone would find a beautiful use for these blue tiles, but they have. It is actually really, really good. I don't know. There's something special about it. Something very special about it. Let's have a look. Oh, look at this out, like outdoor covered area. This is... Mwah. <laughs> it's great. Okay, let's go in. Let's go in. Let's go in. Don't trip, you will fall in the water. <laughs> so, this is amazing. Okay, let's, where do we go? Where do we go? Okay, let's, it looks like that's kind of a main living space. I guess we gotta sort of, it, I mean, look, if there's one bit of feedback I could give right off the bat, maybe more than a tile of walking space, seems like I'm gonna fall in the pool. Oh my God, they have an organ. Is this a vampire's house? Can a vampire live here? <laughs> I, I mean, I guess an organ technically isn't just a vampire's instrument, but it came with vampires. Uh, so we got like a kitchen and a bar area. A buffet table thing there. Nice big dining table. All right, let's go back over this way. Get some bamboo. And then we sort of just tiptoe around the pool. And then what do we got in here? What's this? Hello? Knock, knock. Oh, nice. Oh, that goes upstairs. Okay, we'll go there in a minute. I like this little sitting area. Okay, let's go through. Oh, cool. So we've got the living room in here. Uh, <laughs> the roof's sticking through a little bit. We'll ignore that. Uh, nice big TV, big windows, a gold trimmed windows. How about that? And then I guess a bathroom would be my assumption. Yes, very nice. Oh, <laughs> the swan wing bathtub and that toilet. I'm surprised they are not gold. All right, let's go around back through this way. Some nice photos up here. Oh, so this goes to the outdoor area. Very nice. And then first door is what is this? Good Lord, this is extravagant. This puts all my fancy bathrooms to shame. Look at this thing. Look at this. Imagine taking a bath in here. <laughs> this is so cool. I love that statue. I don't know. Something about this build. It's speaking to me. Nice hallway that way. And then we've got a... Oh, man. This is, this is actually really, really nice. I love this. This is a cool build. Well done. What's through this door? Oh, is it just a balcony? Uh, let's get back this way. Uh, what's in here? Bath... Oh, no. No, that's just a balcony again. Is this like joined to that or is it not? Oh, interesting. This is like not part of this. I guess this, maybe this is like a, a modern extension because I guess it's got a glass fence on it maybe. I don't know. It's just this balcony separate. Kind of cool though. Nice little detail. Uh, so that was there. Got a nice mirror there. There. I don't know why I said that. Whoa. Oh, wait, what? I'm wigging out. Where am I? Oh, does that go to another bedroom? <gasps> oh, okay. Hang on. So this goes to a balcony here, which looks out the back over the back door. But then this, if you go through this door, interesting. This goes into a bedroom in here. This is also equally nice and equally awesome. How interesting. That's such an interesting little design. I like that. It's so different. I mean, maybe it's completely standard in, the, in this, um, <laughs> this villa. But this is great. So I think, is that it? I didn't miss anything, did I? There's no basement or anything. No, very cool though. I love this. I'll, this bathroom though. This is sweet. That That's awesome. That is really, really cool. And that bedroom as well is really nice. Another hidden little thing. A balcony there. Yeah, that's cool. That, that's really cool that that's like sort of almost detached from it. There you go. That is the modern Moroccan 7. Next house. Next up, we got Recluse Retreat by CD Sims 13. Um, they got hashtag build for Samaj, hashtag the Sim Supply, hashtag James Center. <gasps> They're three timing me, I guess, because yeah, two and then three timing me. When people when people use other people's hashtags, oh, you? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> this one just I like the look at the thumbnail. I was like, what is this? So let's check it out. What is it? So it's just a house, right? Yeah, just a house. Not sorry, just a house. It's definitely not just a house. It looks sweet. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I have no idea. Okay, so first of all, I left it like sunset because it looked kind of cool. What does it look like at nighttime? Oh, we got to go around this at night time. Okay, let's check this one out. And then we can check it out in the daytime. So we got this big gate here. Uh, this, oh my god. This is not somewhere that you just want to sort of happen upon, I don't think, you know? Let's go inside. Hello. Okay, so you can sort of see a way in, but you can't get there. There's nowhere to go here, so we got to go around this way. Let's go, let's go, go for a little walk. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit so I can see it. Okay, so we're going to 
shuffle through here. Okay, I'm going to go sideways and... Wait, I think I'm facing the wrong way. Maybe I go this, this way? It's kind of hard because it's mirrored. Okay, shuffle sideways. There we go. <laughs> and then we come through. Okay, so this goes nowhere. All right. This goes to a door. This has got a pool. Hello. What's up above us? Nice open area. So we've got a pool there. Let's go around here. Let's see where it's here. Uh, does that work? If that works, that's actually really cool. Um, having that little tucked in there. Okay, there's upstairs and some other stuff. Let's see what's through this door. So we go through this door. A little tall. Uh, got some creepy benches. Oh my god. What is this? This oh, It's like a... Well, it's not secret because I can see it. But look at this. Oh my gosh. This is totally some... <laughs> This is cool. All right, we gotta explore. So that's just like a little sitting area. Wait, where does this go? I don't know what I'm looking at. I can't, hang on. So this is where we were. Oh, it's like a tower. Wait, can I, what is this? Can I go through? Oh, I think I figured it out. It is, um, right. Okay, so this is actually foundation. That's why my camera was popping up there. So I think what's happening is you go through here and then you sort of walk down here, I think by the looks of it. Yeah, it's just because this tree looks like it's covering the pathway, but I'm going to assume Sims can probably still walk through there. Yeah, so you go here and then you go up the stairs. Okay, right, 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 right. If we want to get down there, which I think we'll save that till later, we have to go the other way. Uh, so we have to go up and then down on that one. So let's go this way. Let's, let's go check out the house. All right, so I had to, I had to replace a lot because it was a missing door. It, uh, it didn't place because I had to move objects off and I placed a lot. So we go through this door and we come into the kitchen area, uh, which is just a nice little thermostat on the wall there. Some benches, a little TV. <laughs> this is like, I've got no friends. So I'm going to sit here and watch the tiny TV <laughs> and play my tiny violin. Um, but yeah, there's not really, there's no way to get to this balcony unless you were a vampire that could fly as a bat to get over here because these stairs are blocking the pathway, which is unfortunate, but you could fix that probably by, uh, if you just stacked the stairs on top of each other instead of putting them like next to each other. Like, so if you put the stairs, no, that won't work because this is on foundation. You just need to move the stairs further back. Uh, although I don't know, is that enough room? They might be able to get through that. I don't think so though. You might need to just put a door on the other side of this. Unless there was already a door here and it hasn't placed with move objects again. Let's put a door there. If you have a door there, then they can sort of walk through here and get to the stairs easily without having to change anything else. Anyway, so that's there. We had the bedroom upstairs and then the roof on top. Is there anything? There's nothing in the roof. It's just windows. Okay, but then... Oh, but then we have the secret, like, vampire basement area, which we've got to get down to. Okay, so back down here in the entrance, we have these stairs. So if we go up these stairs, we get to this sort of raised uh, little, you know, little area where you can sit down. You can sit down and chill and watch over the neighborhood or... You can take these stairs and head down this way into this like courtyard area, which by the way, this looks awesome. And then you've got like the little, that's where we saw that seating area just before. So we continue down. I'm gonna have to go to the basement. Hang on. There we go. Continue down. So we don't be able to see it anymore, unfortunately. But come down here and we've got all this. We've got an organ down here. What else? <laughs> that's where you sleep as well. And then the coffin. This is cool. I like this. This is a nice little layer. Um, <laughs> little layer just underneath. And I think that is it for the recluse retreat which if you've got a vampire oh look there's my home office build that i did if, if you've got a vampire then this could be a fun lot to play in this is a detailed lot guys it is when you know the when the frame rate drops like this you know there's a lot to see so that means last but not least magic royal mansion by gravy sims the backyard has a magical lake with an old beautiful bridge surrounded by pink trees and loads of flowers and then they go on to, to say some more things. Oh, and you can check out the channel right here. Oh, they're two-timing me. They got a hashtag deligracy in there. Why? Get out of there. <laughs> All right. So this is this costs seven hundred and seventy-three thousand dollars, and my frame rate's dropping. So you know there's some there's some magic there's some magical royal stuff going on in here. Let's go back to daytime. There we go. Where do we look first? Should we look at the back garden? They describe the back garden. Let's have a look at that. So I place this in San Myshuno. This is the park lot. So the lot is, you can see where this white line is, just so you know that this isn't part of it, in case you haven't seen this before. The lot is that white line. So we've got this grass patch around here. So we've got this mansion sitting here around the back. Where's this magical bridge? <gasps> magical bridge. Yeah, let's go to Candy Mountain, Charlie. I don't know why that magical bridge made me think of that. But anyway, pretty cool. So we got this bridge there over the little lake. Uh, man, you guys make the best stuff. I love it. it. And it's also varied as well, which makes sense because you're different people. <laughs> Obviously, everything I build is going to be, you know, in my style. But like, that's what's so exciting about this is seeing all these really different styles and different building ideas. 
and just the detail in this is every single time is just so look at this just this shot here because you got the lake in front of us the mansion in the background this other pool sunken down and lowered off to the right hand side the trees lining around it you got more mansion in the background too it just looks so good um i will say though this will probably it'll make your computer run hot i would imagine and even got this like little step down lowered section here at the bottom of the pool with a bar oh man look at this oh it is so cool what we got up here so a little outdoor dining area all right we gotta go back around the front let's go back around the front because we need to we need to enter the normal way so this is like a little seating area out the front here too nice little uh fountain at the, at the front door oh look at the sun coming over that come on <laughs> come on you can't you, you you just can't be happy enough with your house already looking great. You just have to have great lighting too, don't you? God, some people. I love these lights as well that you've sort of put together. Because uh, that, that's... Wait, did you put that together? Oh, no, that's actually a light. Never mind. <laughs> I thought that was, like, You know what? Never seen that light in my life. Um, okay. I, I thought you'd like put like three lights together or something. Because like, that's like, that's a great idea. But you know what? It's not such a great idea because you didn't do it. I thought you did something like this. Wow, I put a light together myself. It looks so great. <laughs> But yeah, your idea was easier. You know, just use the one that already came like that. Oh, this walkway with the trees lining it. I love this. So fancy. So posh. Stairs coming up the side. Little glimpse in that way. What? So this is just like a little statue area, probably like a monument to someone. And then this goes to the magical bridge. The magical bridge. This is where you'd have a proposal. This is like the proposal bridge. It's like the perf perfect space for a nice photo, you know? All right, let's go. Okay, we're going to go back to the front. I'm getting distracted. So we go frame rate is low. That means it's going to be, that means we're going to see a lot of detail. All right, so we're going in the front door. I've got to zoom out again. Oh, we got like nine. Oh, I'm really high up. Oh, this is, yeah, because these are super tall walls. That's why I'm getting confused. I'm like, this looks so weird. There we go. Okay, so it should be about the the, the head, the head height of the night. Um, so here we are in the main entrance atrium. Oh, look at this place. Where do we go? Okay, let's go left. <laughs> Just pick a direction and go. Let's go left. Uh, we've got nice marble flooring, black and white, very classic. So we've got a living area over here with a nice fireplace. And then through this door, we've got a bathroom. Yeah, bathroom. A uh, little bathroom in there. And then I guess that's what we've got here. Is there anything over this way a little bit? Right, so we're going to go to the other side now. So through these doors, we've got a nice, ah, oh, like home library and office kind of space, which I think is, yeah, same door on both sides. So we go back out this way. And then we've got the stairs that head up. Surely there's going to be like some secret staircase in this mansion, right? I hope I hope there's like a little secret hidden place. So we're going to go upstairs. The windows are going to... <laughs> look at that. The game's like, I can't render that much. And boop. Then we get all the detail back when we get up here. We've got this beautiful landing. All these curtains. This really awesome like... Oh, this is... This, this uh, little seating area here. We've got more landing space over this way. So we've got the chest table. We've got a kitchen. A dining area. Uh, we got some double doors here, which goes to, oh, a formal dining area. Hello. Look at this. And then we come back out, and then I guess we got to go over the other side. So we go back over the other side. What are the, actually, let's go out on the balcony. Very nice, very nice. Oh, come, this house just keeps going, doesn't it? Wait, how do we get up? Where, where's the up? It must be over here, I guess. I don't know. All right, so let's go over this way then. Uh, bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> Another bathroom there, and then here... Here we go, yeah, so we go up again. Getting a little bit more cramped now in <laughs> those stairs. And we come up to another landing slash living space. And my camera's gonna move, oh God. So it's gonna move faster now because we're up higher. Uh, so I'm gonna go through here. Another beautiful living room. Master bedroom? Maybe, potentially, I don't know. I don't know if this is the biggest bedroom, but we got a nice big double bedroom. And then ensuite bathroom. And then through here, what's on this balcony? Come out to the front of the house. Just get a nice view, really, of the city. Look at that, beautiful. And through this way to another living room. <laughs> Yet another living room. So if you have, if you want living rooms, not short on space here. Another bathroom. And then we've got... Uh, no, okay, this has got to be the master bedroom. Well, I don't know. You know, they're both pretty good, I guess. Oh, wait, does it have an ensuite? Yeah, it does. Oh, this is bigger. This has got to be the master bedroom because it's got like a walk-in robe area. And then it's its own balcony as well. It's got all this. It's huge. Okay, is that it? Or did I... Have I missed parts of the house? Yeah, they got like they got like two bal two massive balconies. So this is definitely master bedroom. Um, I think I need to jump into this mode so we can have a look because I don't know where I am. I'm getting lost. <laughs> I'm getting lost. All right, let's get down to the ground floor. Okay, so we've got. Oh, we didn't see this. 
Why did I not go through that door? This beautiful indoor, like, uh, garden and H. Oh my god, look at that. That's awesome. And then, gr yep, glass roof. Um, yeah, I love this, like, sort of conservatory or atrium or greenhouse, whatever you want to call it. Totally missed out. Very cool. Uh, and then what else do we have that, that I missed? Because I feel like I, there's got to be something I missed. Where's a secret hidden staircase that goes to... Is there a basement? No, there's no basement. I was hoping there would be a secret basement. Uh, and then, so we go to the next floor. So this is your main living floor. Or at least kitchen and all that. Formal dining. Upstairs we have the two bedrooms. Yeah, so we got yeah, one here and one over here. Both with ensuite bathrooms. So it's at the end of the day, it's a two bedroom house. Whoops. Two bedroom house. So I hope you don't want to have too many people living here. But it does cost you $700,000. Magical Royal Mansion. It is so... You know what? How much of that money is this pool? Is it a pool or is that a fountain? Oh, it wasn't actually that much. It must have been a... Is it a fountain? I think it's a fountain, right? How deep is... Oh no, it is a pool. You know what? It was like 50,000, right? So it was quite a lot, but it wasn't as much as I thought it was. I guess that concludes this week's... Well, it's not this week's. This episode of Your Gallery Builds or whatever. This doesn't really have a series name, but this this concludes the episode of looking at your gallery builds. Um, so thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, again, if you do want to submit your build for the next one, uh, it will be for community lots. Uh, so if you use hashtag build for Samaj, make any sort of community lot you want. We'll be checking those out next time. And that should be a lot of fun. Uh, but honestly, keep impressing me. I love this. Oh, by the way, if you want to download any of these, uh, obviously you can search uh, all the usernames that we showed here in the video, or I will link all five of them in the description down below. So you can click on the links and get to the gallery page that way and find them there. Go show them some love, go download them, comment on them. These are some awesome selections. I, I think these are phenomenal. But thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.